In the vast, frigid mountains of the Great White North, the living is extreme. Only the most enduring creatures survive. This is the home of the caribou. In British Columbia, there are three ecotypes of woodland caribou, boreal, northern mountain, and southern mountain. The northern mountain caribou live in the north and west of the province. What makes the, the northern mountain ecotype unique is that they tend to live in the alpine. They're in areas where it's windswept, which exposes grasses and lichens for them to forage on. They're generally eating terrestrial lichens, which are the lichens that grow on the ground. They have large hooves, kind of like snowshoes, so in deep, softer snow that keeps them up above the snow. Also helps them with cratering, so when they're digging down for terrestrial lichens, they're able to use their hooves as kind of shovels. Predators such as bears, wolves, wolverines, and cougars hunt caribou, particularly the youngest calves. As the calves grow, they are better able to escape, though not all are able to get away. The more humans change the landscape, the harder it is for the caribou to survive. Industrial activity can result in permanent removal of caribou habitat. Roads and other infrastructure, such as wind farms, seismic lines, power lines, and pipelines, can lead predators directly into caribou ranges. Roads also create easy access for human recreation, which can displace animals to areas with poorer quality food and greater risk of avalanches and predation. One herd of caribou lives in the Telqua mountain range. At one time, it numbered in the hundreds, but by the late 1990s, only eight were left. An attempt was made to save the herd. 32 caribou were taken from the Sustat herd, transported to the Talquas, and released. The population increased, but none of the root causes of habitat alteration and predation were addressed. So now in 2014, we see the population back down to probably less than 20 animals. Today, with several herds on the brink of disappearing, biologists across British Columbia are going to great lengths to understand and hopefully preserve the northern mountain caribou, including the last of the Telqua herd. One of the first things we want to do is get a blindfold on that caribou. It completely relaxes them. We hobble the legs together so that that caribou isn't going to get up mid-process. We're taking a few biological samples to test for pregnancy, for DNA and all that, you know, see what the caribou was eating, and then, then it's done. Progress is being made to reduce the impacts of industry and portions of habitat are protected. In places that are still mostly wild, caribou herds continue to thrive much as they have for thousands of years. However, it is difficult to balance industrial development with the needs of the caribou. When I think of a caribou, I feel connected to a landscape, I feel connected to the wilderness, and I think that that's something that we can all relate to as Canadians. I mean, they're just, they're absolutely beautiful, majestic animal, and I can't see why anybody wouldn't want to have caribou persist on this landscape. Thank you.